Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 3 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Sponsored by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Hey guys, welcome to this Quick Tips guiding advice uh, vlog series here. And today I want to answer a question that you guys have asked me to, uh, to film and, and put together a video on. And that is, how do you sharpen your hooks? We just caught, and actually I say my dad, very special afternoon here, my dad just caught a beautiful muskie here on Cracker Jack Tiger, uh, you know, seven inch shallow rider here. So we've got to go now and sharpen these hooks. How do you do that? Well, my advice would be to get a, a regular hook file here. This is a, a Joe Booker Outdoors hook file. You can find this online in their accessories section of the website. Now, your trouble hooks, okay? Because I'm sure after, after you catch a fish, how do you sharpen these, right? It's, it's a three-pronged approach here. So what you're gonna do is hit the, the top and then the inside edge on each of the, each of the hooks on the treble hook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you'll, you'll hear it, there's a, little, there's a little burr there on top. We're gonna hit the inside edge, a couple glances and I'm going upward in direction, okay? Then I'm gonna hit the top and then I'm gonna hit the other. You see how I angle that now? I'm gonna hit the other inside edge. And you do that on each one of these. It's actually a quick process, inside edge, top, inside edge. Inside edge, top, inside edge. And, and again, I, you can test this, but you want these hooks to be uh, sharp enough where if I put that on my fingernail, I mean, that catches bone. And that's sharp. Now, I don't do that to, you know, uh, I don't, because that'll actually dull the hook by you know, testing it on your fingernail, but that just proved you. And look at this one now, guys. This is great. See this hook, the muskie, see how that one's all bent out like that? That's not good, okay? What do you do to fix that? Here we got plenty of stuff to do to get this bait in working order, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is grab my pair of pliers here. Actually, I'll get my JBO pliers, big JBOs that we unhooked the fish with. Again, you can find these on the Joe Booker Outdoors website. What we're gonna do is take this hook and we're just gonna bend it against the carpeting there a little bit and bend it in. Let's see if I did a good enough job. And I did, you see that's, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but for right now, unless I wanna replace that hook later, that's fine. And again, just to repeat this, this is how we're doing this. It's inside edge, top, and the inside edge. So you're creating a triangular uh, point on this hook. The other thing here, guys, as I leave you on this information uh, vlog here on hook sharpening, is don't over sharpen. So you don't want to you don't want to sharpen these hooks down to little nubs. You just you just want to make sure that you just fairly you hear that fairly sharpen them. You don't want you don't want to over sharpen the hooks. Otherwise, you're fishing with a bunch of nubby hooks, and that's not a good thing. Once I'm done, and you see how quick this is, I sharpen my hooks. How often you say how often do I sharpen my hooks? Every time you catch a fish, even if it's a northern pike. Yes, even if it's a northern pike. You want to sharpen your hooks on every single... When we go out here and start our next trolling pass, I want to make sure this is... Ooh, see, those are super sharp. Next thing you check after you caught a fish, leader looks good, it's straight, and then hit the button and check your line. So, you know, again, I'm going to check that first... There, you know, first three or four or five feet of line. There's no nicks, there's no frays. Everything looks good. The last thing, guys, that I would do... If I can get this line off my hummingbird here. Let's see where that is. Here's the last thing I'm gonna do, guys, and I can do this from sitting a sitting position here. Because now you this may happen to you guys. You catch a fish and now your bait starts running to the side. Well, here's what you gotta do. Cast it out and let's see. I'm gonna crank it in at pretty quick clip. Awesome. Now again, most of the time your lure doesn't go out of tune after you've caught a fish, but if it does. I'm going to show you one more tip here to really make sure that you're set to go after you catch a muskie, and that is get yourself one of these lure tuners. If you don't have a lure tuner, this is a an old product. This is a Joe Booker lure tuner. You can find these. I don't think these are for sale on the website, but you can find these online. If you don't have that, you can use the old JBOs here. This is actually perfect. And here's how you do this. Okay, here's the here's the uh, the line tie, right? If the lure is running to the right, so as you crank the lure in, if it's if it's running to the right side, grab a hold of this line tie there and turn it to the left. 
So you turn it opposite in the opposite of the error. If the lure is running to the left, tilt it to the right. And I'm talking a minimum, a very, very minuscule adjustment. You can very easily overdo this. So it's just very, very light, right or left. And you cast it, reel it out real quick. And if your lure is running, uh, you know, a little bit, you can, you can, I guess what I'm saying is you can very easily overcorrect. So you want to be very, very fine-tuned adjustments. So there you have it, guys. How to sharpen hooks, how to, uh, you know, just retune your lure after you've caught a muskie, and we're going to get back at it. Papa Charlie's on the board. We're going after, after muskie number two. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying these Advice from a Guide segments, and as always, thanks for watching.